Austria getting an early kicking in alliance with Denmark and Brandenburg. Aye, they've got it sorted. Completely French diplomats, Jake. I know, I know. What to do with them, though? That's a question. Claims on you won't help, although they would help if I gave them to my subject. Maybe if I said to my friend here that I actually want all this land, he'll go, well, maybe I shouldn't uh, ally with these other people. But he probably will still keep them. He's had those alliances a lot longer than he's had mine. I might also want a friend when dealing with Pasai, even though Pasai and Siak will be a walkover. Might even be the ones I should be going for right now, rather than wasting my time here. Hejaz still gunning down people around me. In fact, yeah, I might as well fill this place with my claims. And this is all going to be mine anyway, so I may as well state it. Problem with being so far flung is that uh, I may run out of states. But my expansion is so slow, I also don't think it will be a big problem. Unrest, sure, but... Ugh. That autonomy, though. Okay, I'm just going to leave the game running for a bit, because I'm going to go for a quick water break. I'm confident nothing bad will happen. I should take water breaks more often. The game just wants to shower me in point. Oh, and shower me in money as well. I need that dip power though. And trade efficiency would give me... How much money are we talking here? 10 years of 15%. So that's like 100 ducats. Probably more than 100. Well, the choice is made for us. 1.9 becomes still 1.9. I feel like that didn't really kick in at all. Although it probably needs a turn of the... Ah, who's to say? Pause, Jake. Okay, well, I paused. Uh, remember Karaka Yunlu? I do. And where is my navy? It's not where it should be. Damn. I tail it back, folks. Hmm... Hmm. At least I won't be losing prestige on that core I don't have. Okay, you weren't warned or anything, were you? And you're still allied with Uzbek, and I never did get that alliance with Timurids, because they didn't want it at all. But Hejaz are bigger and stronger than they ever were before. And they're joining in. Hopefully they will keep uh, my friends a little busier. Unfortunately, you're going to have a rough time, aren't you? A pretty rough time, okay. Yeah, we need to get ourselves back up there and stat. Now, I'm just hoping you don't get military access through people that are going to uh, cause that to be a bad thing for me. Timurids just went to war with Uzbek. Timurids are now at war with Karakiyunlu as well. Said it before, but I have a lucky guardian angel. I'm not sure if it's an angel or whatnot. I've only seen it in my dreams. But just generally, luck has my back in life. The trouble is, it's a uh, it enjoys very ironic humor, so it does throw me a real nugget every now and then. 
So the last time we just went for stalling out, gaining our war score through... Uh... Oh, I'm suddenly so glad I got this alliance down here because currently these other ones would jump me after seeing me so weak. It's a good thing I'm so clever. Jake, what mods are you using? I don't use mods. I still plan, and the plan has been growing, to actually run Mayo and Taxes, because I was a huge fan of Mayo. A real fanboy of it. Okay, good. We're actually making point two more ducats per month. So, actually, no, that's nowhere near loads of money, but hey. It'll help us out a touch. More like 20 ducats. But I got the dip power, so that means I can eventually tech up here. It's going to be unbalanced research, but I think we should put Karaki Yunlu in their place. I don't know where that place is, because we can't really take anything out of them, except for war reparations. Maybe finally force them to give up on Hormoz? Well, no, that's not possible, but I'd have to make them give up Hassa. Would certainly free me from this situation. Okay, well, I'm seeing little reason not to just tech up here except for the corruption. Well, I'll do it anyway. Hopefully I can catch up here. Unbalanced research. Nah, it's not a huge amount of money to be losing, but it is an amount. I forgot about my, uh, my ships here. Our explorer is still alive, so really our explorer should be getting out there. Don't have to worry about defending this. Timmy has my back. Spy on QQ in case you get to siege them, Jake. I would rather have a free diplomat, is the answer to that. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm going to grab my lights, give them the explorer, and tell you to go and explore where exactly. Yeah, just figure it out. East Indian Ocean will do us fine. The rest of you, I'm going to grab your ships. I'm going to detach a couple of galleys to make the galley wall. Not as fun as the cog wall, but every bit as useful. And we're going to, you know, just sail through Quasim again. Because that's how we roll. Quite the limitation of the game. I mean, sure, I think we'd all rather it looked better than that, but would you rather a better game or that looking better? The answer should be both. Never settle. Our heir might have some siege pips, because this is going to be a hefty one to siege down. Might have some siege pips, but he's also a really good ruler, 445. You'll probably just die in the battle though. I'll roll. Conquistadors have lower stats than regular generals, so wasn't too keen on doing that. Uh, can the estates help us out a bit? I mean, I would quite like a nice... Hell, I can donate to you and take the 50 admin. I'll pay for that. Heck, I could seek support from you as well and uh, keep the tax bonuses there. Costing legit and prestige, well... I will placate you. And then I will seek your support. You know I would be as well you getting more influence so that I get more out of it. I don't really need any of this stuff. Native assimilation, native uprising, what do you take me for? I've never used it before though. Hmm. <laughs> the idea of Hormoz having their own new world missions. Uh we're not really converting anything, but I'll go for the Minister. That's just so that I can get a hundred admin doing it this way. Still keeps you high enough to give me bigger bonuses. I want a contribution, but I want all of this stuff from you. The Diplo is more important right now. Could get that General out of you. Would probably be pretty good. Yeah. Jake, so what is your job title? Your job title, what? Ah, uh, I see what you're doing there. Johan said something yesterday in heavily accented English. Well, for the past half a year now, I've been junior designer with my uh, main game being Europa Universalis. 
So, when you get Rights of Man, and I'm certain you're going to buy it, hell, you're probably going to buy 20 copies, let me know what you think. I'm going to be getting on this blockade, although I'm not sure if I get it or if it goes to Timmy's. Might be first come, first serve, but it looks like I'm the one getting the blockades, and that looks like blockade income to me. And tomorrow. No, that's war reparations. Good. And Timurids are hiring out Condottieri. It's a good thing it goes both ways, otherwise I'd be in trouble. I'm going to take this tech straight away because it gives me trade efficiency and it's going to stop the uh, corruption growing from unbalanced research. Spices, that's what we're talking about. Might be in this horrible province that only wants to rise up and cause me a headache, but it's mine now. And Tejez is helping us out here. Wonderful. If only they brought a bit of siege to the party. Now my money is going to dissolve, which isn't very good, but I think it's worth it to get Karaki and Lu out of the picture. Because they've been costing us too much these days. That's a joke, they haven't really been costing us anything, but you know. Got to make the most of our explorer there, I'll probably die soon. Jake, is taking land and giving it away allowed? If so, you could still hurt QQ directly. Yeah, that would be allowed. Like, if I were to take these provinces and then immediately just give them up or return them, that's fine. I doubt I'll do it, but it would be fine. Otherwise, I'm just chopping off too many of my own arms. I like my arms. Yeah, if I step back, would you siege this instead? I'm not really keen on this. We'll work on Qatar, though. I really want to see you pop out and get destroyed, though. That would make my day. Wonderful. Best stab hit I've had in a long time. We have a 445 at the age of 20. Uh, the air is a bit meh, but we'll finally have a decent number of monarch points and missionary strength. Okay. Accidental double click. So glad I allied you. <gasps> I know who you wouldn't protect. Okay, we're going to win this war and then head down south at twice the speed of sound. By win this war, I mean take this siege. And this siege, just to pop out the boats and destroy them. That way I don't have to worry. Not that I'd ever dream of worrying. Oh, that's right, you're attaching to me. I forgot about that. Mmm, there we go. No, 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 there we go. You should be attaching to me, friend. Thank you. Thank you, Q. Why does he run at plus one stab instead of zero? Well, here's the thing. If you're at zero stab and you go down to minus one, you would stab up to zero. So during a stab hit, you're still going to lose 100 admin or whatever to stab up. But I will do exactly the same at plus one stability. No extra cost, but I get the effects of positive stability, which is less unrest, more tax. You can read. It just works out better. Sure, there's the initial investment to get myself up to one stability, but I like being at positive stability. By the same token, I really like being at uh, negative stability, so go figure. Time to... Ah, shoot, I'm still blocked by uh, this province. I could still shimmy my way over there. It's not that risky, though. After all, I think QQ are busy dealing with uh, very hard land. And he's going to run away, so that's all right. Sink his navy, go down south, deal with those accursed natives. Also, I really want to fabricate on Geo. But Lemuri is the superior one to claim at the moment. As for you, it's only two. I'm going to get both of them eventually. Was that gold? I forgot there was gold down here. Uh, that might really speed up my desire to take over Indonesia. It's all one big island after all. 
kind of like the same way Ming is just an OPM. Balanced personality, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, so hopefully those don't both pop at the same time, because I want to slaughter these guys wholesale. Where are my light ships? There you are. Kind of want to give you another explorer to go exploring, but there's not that much for us to look at, so I'll pass. Jake, your trade ships are dying while you're exploring. No, they're not dying. They're fine. But it is a good point. They should be doing something constructive, such as protecting trade over there in Hormoz. So you're going to pop out and die. I'm going to very much enjoy it. There's not really much point in me going over there, it would just get me killed. Hmm, didn't die enough. Now I really hope this pops out soon. Does anyone know the national ideas of bonuses of Jake's country? Well you do now, here you go, lap it up. Missionary, lots of trade bonuses, fort defense, stability, diplomatic reputation, diplomatic relations, more trade, development cost, and shit force limit. Wow, this siege does not want to end. That's the trouble of having a capital fort with fort while you have no cannons. Should probably build a cannon just to get a wee touch of bonus, but expensive, and I don't have much money. My... F um Colonies aren't even close to being done. This is just getting ridiculous, though. Arid and Siege, that's hurting us. But I certainly think I'm going to tell Karaki Yunlu that they're not allowed this subject anymore. Fine for him to retake Basra, because I can... What'll ha probably happen is uh, his ships will go there, and I'll just squish them down again. Siege has been going on for almost two years. <sighs> good. Not good. Oh, damn. Ethiopia has taken names here. But they are also going to be at war with the Mamluks, who are not currently in another war. And the Ethiopian fleet is something worth checking out, much like the Marahan fleet. Good thing we're almost done up here. Yeah, Ethiopian. Yeah, nothing to worry about. I'll take it. But now that we're done here, we need to make our way down to the island. I'm still keeping you there. You keep Hormoz safe. Might even uh, leave more galleys here than I initially planned. Depend how many we kill. The answer is all of them. Good fight, good night. Hello, Navy Tradition. Hello, Prestige. If only I had increased Prestige from naval battles. I think I'm still going to leave behind a, a couple of galleys. But the rest of you, let's go. We have Islanders to destroy. Saddle forth. And lament our lack of treasury. Colonial maintenance, fleet maintenance, army maintenance, ship maintenance. I'm actually going to pull Colonial Maintenance just a wee bit, because it's costing us. With you as our friend, we can knock out you instantly. Sure, your friends to the south will get involved, but well, whoopity do. I will co-belligerent them. It's safe in the knowledge that Imarina is in a war with me. And since the war is still early, it's not going to end anytime soon. QQ is... Giving it the good stuff. Not good enough, though. We just have more to bring to the party. Err. Nah, we have more to bring to the party. Lovely. This is still a thing, though. This is why it's kind of nice to be the island dweller. They're not going to touch us. They can't touch us. I made some very sensible alliance choices by accident, and I'm happy about that. Welcome, Brotherhood UK. Ethiopia got Pate, that's alright, as long as these guys don't get more from uh, 
not quite friends of mine. We're going to land, get everyone back together, and I'm going to crush you, and then I'm going to crush you. Your tech is superior, so you're the one I want to focus on. My vassal will get somewhat destroyed by the guys in the south, that's their problem. I have this half-decent general to take care of things, even though it's jungle. So you can't join in either side, that's very good news for me. And I'm just going to take it all, I think it'll all go to the subject as well. No, I wouldn't it. And that solves the island problem. Haha! -ha. Oh, that's not a heavy. Can't tell at a glance. Probably a light ship though. Yeah, we got this. And we got this. Silly Islanders, you can outroll me all you want, but oh, that's not good news for me if he goes south though. They'll join up. I mean, I'm still superior to his other troops, so what I will do is I'll shift merge you together, leave these staggering two soldiers to... What's he building? I'm gonna want that barracks. Is this their... Is this their trick? They build barrackses to stop me from wanting to conquer them, because I want the barracks. I'm not falling for it this time. There. I mean, you're not going to join in this war, you wouldn't accept, but... I need to chase you all down, and you're going to come up here and defeat my two-stack, aren't you? It's alright, he's done his job. Well, that said, if he wants to disregard... This will be tricky, because I'm going to be outnumbered in battle. Oh! Didn't see that coming. But then I couldn't have. We have a flank on you. We have better discipline. We have better morale. Unless dice rolls go about as badly as they're going exactly now, everything should be alright. Don't like how they are really not friendly with us. I need to secure that marriage when I eventually remember. It'll all tick down, though. I have the claim there. I should probably give it to them, since I don't want to hold on to this garbage. If it's Sunni, that's a different story, because I need some extra strength for myself. But you can have the claim on Antankara. Alright, hope this goes well. That's not well. That's the opposite of well. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong guys. I'm assuming I'm the attacker here. Usually a safe bet to make, but good. They're all forced down south. We'll just crush them. Piecemeal. Barracks again. It's like he's trying to say something. River crossing, but it's not in the jungle or anything. Oof. It's a good thing they're at low strength, otherwise this would be a harsh battle for me. And if they're all going to run up north... No, they're not going to run up there, because I left a unit there, like the clever bugger I am. AI praise on your greed, Jake. Please spare me. Okay, battle's going to go there. It should be my victory. Can't see any reason why it wouldn't. By victory, I mean total victory. Whoa, 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 wiped. Okay, so I need to finish them off very quickly, or else I risk Marina joining in on all this. Thankfully, I have just enough troops to be doing that. And those remaining just head up north. Phew! Alright, so that is sorted. QQ is at our mercy, but I don't dare piece them out, or else uh, Imerina will join in. I need to make sure I have enough war score here first. Also, why am I not doing anything good with you? Sure, blockading that is something, but this would be more of something. Mm. 
just get enough war score for them not to join and then greed out with the barracks. Oh yeah, I forgot about the barracks, didn't I? Well, I took all that. Will you make a barracks here if I let you? No, just troops. Still want this barracks, though. I want that barracks. My vassal will get the barracks, but that's okay. These guys we can separately piece out, it's no big deal. Plus I can enjoy stomping their troops into jelly every now and then. Wow, this is really hurting the money. So we got over 800 people here now. Uh, I haven't been streaming as much Grand Strategy as I used to. Which is strange, given there's more Grand Strategy games out now, but I've really been enjoying the reduced viewer count for many of the other things I stream. That said, though, maybe there are some people joining that are new. I don't take loans in this game unless I'm forced to. And forced isn't, oh, I'm losing this war. Forced is, like, I have an event and there's no possible way for me to generate the money that it demands. I like playing with no loans. Annihilation. Although I lost more units than I wanted to there. I have a deficit in manpower, something I try to avoid usually. Well, I have a solution for this. Don't have a solution for the crippling debt though. Here's hoping a jazz are grateful for all the help I'm putting in this Ethiopian war. Look at that 1% war participation I've got. I feel like quarter of the man Grugi is. Still gonna be waiting a while on that barracks, but I want that barracks. Is there a reason behind why Jake isn't taking loans? So I was weaned on Europa Universalis 3. In EU3, if you had to take more than five loans, you went bankrupt, no questions asked. So loans were generally pretty bad. That whole philosophy was changed in EU4, where loans are something to be expected. You go to big expensive wars, you're going to need the Italians to fund you. You simply pay them back and it'll hammer into your administrative power by way of getting more uh, inflation. That's the thinking there. But I still don't like that. I set this upon myself. If I allowed myself to use loans, then everything would be really easy, trust me. But I still don't. I hope that barracks gets done soon so I can peace out here. I don't like, uh... don't like how Imarina could join in easily. Good, that's done. I'm gonna take all your land. Or should I? Maybe I should just wait on it. There's no reason for me to peace out with you right now, heck. What I can do is just sit back and loot you senseless. And enjoy yet another stunning victory. And that means I can send you guys up to blockade anyone, really, as long as I get some war participation here. Don't want my enemy to... I don't want my ally to hate me. Sorry, I get allies and enemies mixed up sometimes. It's just what happens. Shift clicking allows you to do this, in case you didn't know. And I have seen messages from people that go, what is he doing where he can make multiple move orders? Shift clicking. Nice. Famine refused aid. Chings, they are probably not even producing anything at this rate. War exhaustion, looted, blockaded, ads. Eh, I've seen better provinces. Okay, right, we can take it now, no need to uh, fuss around. Continue getting that sweet fat loot. I'm going to blockade anything I can. Thankfully the enemy is not full of heavies, and this will finally give us a bit of war... Well, maybe a bit of war participation. Although perhaps blockading non-fortified provinces is just not what they care about. Where are the forts then? 